So it took us a long time to get here. So thank you, Sister Jones. You <laughs> stay on IT. And when you get to 60, God said in Genesis chapter 1, verse number 20, that the waters bring forth upon the beings of the womb, creatures that have life, and fowls that may fly above the earth in the open firmament. And God created great wonders. In every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their time. And every wing fowl after his time. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of in the sea, and let the fowls of multiply in the earth. Yes. Even right here, I see the power mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Brother Nate, even when I try to. Have a conversation with my dog. It's challenging. <laughs> Very challenging when I ask him to sit. Sometimes you want to sit and obey, and sometimes you don't. Right. Mm -hmm. I ask him to go outside or whatever. Mm -hmm. He kind of look at me kind of strange. Mm -hmm. But then when he wants to go out, then he can go out. But when I see the power, here in 22 and all. It said, God bless them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let God multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after his time. Cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his coming. Yes. And it was so. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God made the beasts of the earth after his coming. And cattle after their coming. And everything that creeps upon the earth after his coming. Yes. And God saw that it was good. Amen. I want to just go even down to verse number 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image yes. after our likeness. Mm -hmm. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, mm -hmm. and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And the reason why I stop here in verse number 22 again, because I see God's great power. Yes. He's telling me, and who is he talking to? He's talking to those that are in the sea. In the fires, the air. Mm -hmm. Let us try to go out and do that. And they had a clear understanding. 
understand who the Creator was. But the Charles. Then Charles Darwin. Then we say, what? Evolution. Yeah. And I hope and pray to God that we will see some of this tonight. Because it is very, very important for us to understand that God is the creator of yeah. this earth, you know, this world. Yeah. But we see in the first chapter, we see four requirements of the creation. First, we see time. Yes. Time means the uh, what? The deep. And then we see energy. Energy from whom? God. Being the creator. And then we see space. And then we see material that earth. We see all of this right now when we're looking at this in the first chapter of Genesis. And this also shows that these five attributes, brother and sister of God, one of his eternity. There was no beginning, and there was no end. Then we see the ethnicity, the larger part, the bigger part, which is that he created all things. And then we see God as being omnipotent, all powerful. Then we see him being all of his science, yeah. <laughs> meaning all knowing. Yeah. And then we see him, but I'm impressed, yeah. being everywhere. Yeah. That's why I'm going to say that even when we live here on this earth, brother David, we can understand that God is everywhere. He's not living to no space. Yeah. Because he created everything. Is that a right We see this in the first chapter. But what is a theory? Of evolution. And the question for us that are sitting here. Is it possible to believe in evolution and still be a Christian? Mm. If being a Christian means being believing that the Bible is the authentic, trustworthy oh, yes. word oh, yes. of God, mm -hmm. yes. and that Christ is our creator and Savior. Yes. So the answer to that question is no. I don't know, and it was shocking. And I, it was so shocking that Brother Lewis would give me this topic. Because when I grew up, when our history teacher and science teacher was telling me something totally different. But even then, I did not believe in him. In man. Why? Because I knew what God said in the right. So it's very important for us to understand. One cannot believe the things that God has done and also believe in evolution as an explanation for the origin of life on earth. Amen. As we go in this. Again, what is the theory of evolution? Looking at the 
creation narrative. The creation narrative is the first two, or in the first two chapters of Genesis. The first book of the Bible. And it clearly indicated that the work of creation was done in six days. Wow. Evolution. This contradicts all of that. Evolution contradicts this and denies God's creative power. Even just as Christ performed miracles. And he formed miracles intensively while he was here on earth. So also he did his work of creation intensively. Doing the creation week. Yes. Can I call it a week? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did the seven days of week? Yes. Can I call it a week? Because we know what happened on that last day. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But six days there was work going on. Oh, yes. The Bible says. By the word of God, they have been for me. In all the hopes of their mind, the breath of his mouth. But he spoke. And it was done. He commanded it. And it stood fast. You see that in Psalms chapter 33, and verse number 69. Then God said, I have made the listener and created man mm -hmm. on it. He said, I, speaking of God, my hands mm -hmm. stretched out the heavens. Mm -hmm. And all their hosts I have commanded. Mm -hmm. There in the book Isaiah, chapter 45, and 12. The one can not believe these verses and also believe. In evolution. Yeah. Right. Darwin. Darwin theory of evolution is false. Amen. Amen. Let's look at how creation is the basis for the quality mm -hmm. of all humans. Mm -hmm. If the theory of progressive evolution from the lower life mm -hmm. forms to humans <laughs> is true, there could be a biological basis for considering some human race inferior. Yeah. Oh, my point. Yeah. And other superior. Why? Just because some rapes will have advanced further up the evolutionary scale. Have advanced more than mm. other races. Mm. And we know, we know some our American family fathers mm -hmm. has said that all men are created equal. It ain't right. Very right. All human beings are created equal. Amen. But they are created by the child of God Amen. to be. Why is it because God created all? All of us have the same origin. Yes, we do. That's right. Racial intolerance has no basis for those who believe in creation. Those who believe in evolution. Reason to believe that some races are more highly developed than others. Yeah. But not 
said. He was made them out the gift. Mm -hmm. Made them what man and see them. Yeah. We see that also in Matthew chapter 19 and verse number 4. The expression after the gift is the same expression used in the first three verses of Genesis. The first book of the Bible. Brothers and sisters, in each day, yeah. a duration were a long and pure time. Mm -hmm. The duration of humans occurring as it did at the end of the sixth day yeah. of duration yeah. would not have been at the beginning of creation. But after six long, long, long days, long time, this is the time that we always try to focus on and see, like what's going on in the mind of God. But God knew. God knew what he was doing. And we need to give God the credit. Why is that? Because the credibility of God's word exists. If the creation never took, if it eats only a storm, what about the other parts of the Bible? Such as the translation of who? A man by the name of Elijah. Going, translation, going up to him. Jonah yeah. being in that big fish yeah. in the miracles yeah. in the resurrection yeah. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. If it's just a story, yeah. why do we read about it in the Bible? Yeah. If it's just a story, yeah. why do we know it? Why are we living in the kingdom of God? Yeah. Why do we have that divine nature in us? It is just a story. Why are we, we why are we saying that we are children of God? Why? Because we know that God is the creator. We know that God, He is the one that called us out of the world of darkness and brought us into His marvelous light. We know this. Pray to God and that we all discontinue to understand who is in control. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We should be thankful to God yes. for the free will Amen. that we have. Yeah. Bring a message. The end, the indirect ransom, a random, rather evolving of living, evolving of living things, brother. Eliminates the power of the human will. I'll say just a few things about God. If evolution is true, then it may mean that all of our choices are merely actions mm. or behaviors determined by our genes okay. Well, okay. or some surrounding environment okay. and our condition by our past choices. Mm. That we made, even if they were in a successful mold or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Such a view eliminates the power mm -hmm. of choice. Mm -hmm. But God gave human yeah. 
free will. Yes. Amen. With the power to choose. Amen. Adam and Eve could have chosen to obey right. God. Amen. Or not to obey. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. But God wants his human creation. Yes. To worship. Yes. Him. Yes. Amen. God wants his human creation mm -hmm. to love yes. him. Yes. And God wants his human creation yes. not only to worship him and love him, but yes. obey Amen. him. Amen. And make the right choice Amen. to obey right. him. Amen. And when we see creation versus evolution, the Bible says that God yes. created this world yes. perfect. Yes. And he created it in the beginning. Yeah. But that since the entrance of sin, Amen. it has become more and more corrupt. Yeah. We see that in Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. on to chapter 3. Amen. But Charles Darwin yeah. is coming silent as the person who discovered yeah. evolution. But the historical record shows that roughly 70 different individuals published work on this topic of evolution between 1748 and 1859. I stopped by to tell you that there was a wrong time, wrong place, and the wrong individuals to be trying to follow today. We must, brother and sister, yes. we must remember that Charles Darwin was not in the beginning yeah. of time. Yeah. When God, our Father, yeah. our Creator, when God created the heaven yes. and the earth, stop focusing on Darwin. Yeah. Stop focusing on any man right. that come up with any type of book. Stop focusing on them. And I know that sometimes, even uh, as preachers in the body of Christ, as leaders in the body of Christ, we want to look at man's book instead of the book. Amen. The book of God. We have everything right here. And stop looking at those big books and focus on the word of God. Amen. I stop by to tell you tonight my theory of evolution. Is this? Yeah. That E stands for that we are what empowered, yeah. empowered by God, yeah. empowered by the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah. We know what lives in us. Yeah. We know what has us. We know what dies us. It is the Holy Spirit that God will work in us. In yeah. 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 Bible, He also talks. It lets us know that we have eternal life. Living with God. Amen. That victory stands for that. I'm so thankful to God that I have victory. Yeah. Victory over sin. Amen. I'm thankful to God Amen. that I don't have to listen to any kind of man. Amen. God, I know where my victory comes from. Amen. Jesus the Christ. Amen. The one that died on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. The yes, one sir. Amen. On each and one, every one of our behalf. Yes. Amen. He's given us victory. Yes. And then that all is obedience. Amen. Oh, I'm thankful to God that I'm obedient to his word. Amen. Not to man's word, but to God's word. I am obedient to him. Amen. And not only that, I have an open mind yes. to understand and to listen. Yeah. Listen to his knowledge. Seeking out his wisdom, yeah. seeking out his understanding. Yeah. That I would have an understanding of sharing how when he blessed me, yeah. I would be able to bless someone else. Amen. Having that open heart yeah. to just receive his word. Yeah. Then that add, oh, that love, yes. Yes. that love that God has shown to all mankind. Amen. Yes. And then he not only shows the love, he gives of all liberty. Yes, he 
He is in his body, in the body of Christ. He gives us a light mind to understand what he wants from us to do. Somebody help me, please. All right. The light mind. That's what he wants in his kingdom. For each and every one of us, when we look, brother Philip, when we look into his mind, you see what his word says. You're going to set what his word says. When I look into his mind, I see the same thing of what you see. And I'm going to set what God is telling me, just like you and everyone else. Amen, brother. That's it. We should not in the body of Christ disagree. No, but we should be being like minded in his kingdom. It also, the word lives. And we must live to please God. Yeah. We must be loyal yes. Yes, sir. to God. Oh, yes. And then you, well, yes, you got to be unique individuals. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got to be unique. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Carruthers. Yes. 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 Why are we unique? Because that Holy Spirit is living mm -hmm. in Twilight. In us, we don't act like the world. Why? Because we are unique. Why? Because God again is taking us out of the world of sin. And when we went down into the water and drank the baptism, we rose up as a new creature, being different from the world. We are unique individuals. And then we know that unity is what. Oh, we got to be together. Right. So the world can understand who Jesus lives in us. That's and that's the only way they're going to understand if we unite together. Oh, Lord, help me. All right. And again, the use of being unshakable. Amen. Won't let nothing shake us. Amen. We should be unstoppable. Right. We should be upbeat. That's Christian. Right. Not sitting down, how not worried for being bothered or problems and problems and problems of life. Why? Why? When we have God holding power in us, God didn't stop on us. And He don't want us to stop living for Him. He's going to continue to do what He command me or promise us that he would do. So that's why we must what? Be upstanding. Yes, yes, yes. Not only just in the church, that's right. but also when in the community Amen. that we live in. Amen. And when we're upstanding individuals, uh -huh. having the God same matter and, and having the God of Christ in us, yes. and then we're moving what? Up. Amen. Upward to heaven. Amen. Then we see the word in that letter. Truth. Yes. And we're, brothers and sisters, transformed. Yes, we are. Amen. Amen. We're transformed. Yes. 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 By the renewing. That's right. Oh, yes. By the renewing of our minds. We transform by the truth. Yes. By the truth of God's word. Amen. But close. I didn't think that I would. I'm a close. Help me, pray for me. Yeah. Right. And then I see the eye. Meaning that I'm inspired. Amen. I'm inspired in what I read in God's word. Amen. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That old understanding that it's only oneness in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Yes, That's all right. Yes. Yes. Then I look at that omnipotent again. Because we serve Amen. the one in true God. Amen. He has all. Yes, no problem. 
And then I see that last step. That he. I use the word nail. Because Jesus was nailed yes. Yes. to the cross. Yeah. He was nailed. Then they placed those nails in his head. Yes. They placed those nails yeah. in his feet. Yeah. And we know that Jesus died for yes. us. Yes. Never, never to die. Again. In God's word, when we see this, God's word keeps us. When I see that word near, it keeps us near the cross. The Bible, in one of my daily prayers, is God. Yes. I pray yes. to you. Yes. I pray that you will keep me focused yes. and yes. keep me looking up yes. Yes. to the cross. Oh, yes. We must be near the yes. cross. Yes. That's my definition of evolution. God sent his son yes. to this earth to change yes. the world. Yes. He didn't put man in charge. No. I don't even think he got in the mind of Darwin because Darwin still doing the same art was doing the thing that was not right before God. He was on a team of Satan yes. to confuse individuals. Yes. The theory of evolution, brothers and sisters, is wrong. Amen. But the word of God yes. Yes. is right. Yes. And the word of God can save your life. Yes. Why it just being obedient? Yes. Being obedient to the word. Yes. Being obedient to the gospel yes. of the Son Jesus, yes. the Christ. Yes. Why should I be obedient to the gospel? Well, because Jesus. Yes. When God sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross yes. of Calvary. Yes. Our Lord and Savior Jesus for Christ. Mm -hmm. He did not sin. He went to the cross yes. because of my sins. Yes. Yes. He went to the cross because of your sins. Yes. Right. He right. went to the cross That's right. because of each and every one of us that are here and those that are out in the world sin. Right. That's why he went to the cross. That's right. He loved us so much. So when he was there to that old rugged cross, yeah. yes. not only that he just didn't say a mumbling word, because he knew what he came down to earth to do. And that, and that was to die yes. for each and every one of us. Yeah. And that's what he did. He gave up the ghosts. Yeah. To die for you and I. Yes. And we must teach this every day. We must believe it with all our hearts. Yes. But then not only did he die, but they placed him in that tomb. Yes. And when they put him in that tomb, they rolled the stone to cover and see the tomb. Yes. Yes. But they felt that that was not enough. So they had to put some soldiers outside yeah. of a tomb because they thought that his disciple was going to come back. But they didn't understand the mind. They didn't understand the mind of God. They didn't understand darkness and theory. But they didn't understand the mind of God. They didn't understand those, those Pharisees and Sadducees and Jewish leaders. But they didn't understand the mind right. of God. Amen. So here it is now. Yeah. Because it was all in God's plan. Yeah. All in his plan. Yes, it is. That his son would die. Yes. And that he would be buried yes. in that tomb. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. one day went by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the second day went by. Yeah, like he's, uh, he's going to be there for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine with Satan, Satan and his demons. I can imagine what they were thinking. Oh, yes, we got him now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got him. Yeah. Everything is all right. Yeah. We got the victory now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No, sir, no man. Yeah. Why? Because here it is now. Yeah. Jesus, come up out yes, of yes, the grave. Yes, that third day. Yeah. Resurrected. Yeah. Oh, we're so yeah. thankful oh. to God. Amen. That Jesus was resurrected. Yeah. From the grave. Yeah. But we must hear this. Yeah. We must believe it. Yeah. We must repent of the sins. Our sins yeah. must confess Jesus. We must be willing to go down yeah. into yes. the watery grave of baptism. Yeah. That we will not sin yes. no more. Yeah. And when we're buried yes. in a liquid tomb, yeah. we go down and under. We, do. we don't stay up. Over no. the water. No. We must go down under. Yeah. Our whole body will go down yeah. under yes, it does. the water. Yes. But when we come up out mm -hmm. of the water, mm -hmm. just like Jesus came up out the grave. of the grave, mm -hmm. we now are resurrected. Yeah. Got a new preacher in Christ. Amen. That old man is now destroyed. Yes. And we should never bring him back up again. Well, that old man is destroyed. Mm -hmm. And now we are a new preacher well, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? Because I remember well. there in Acts chapter 2, verse number 38, mm -hmm. when Peter told them to what repent yeah. and be baptized. Right. You know, and not only just that, but once, Brother Mike, when they're baptized, they're going to do what? Yes, Receive yes. the, the gift, gift yes. of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. I've been trying to do well, this, this, this lesson on the power uh -huh. of the Holy Spirit. All right. So we all can understand what's in well in us. Yeah. That we will be able to stand strong. In the kingdom of God. Well, Whenever Satan come and attack us, whenever someone come and, and try to defeat us, well, whenever someone come and try to be against us, yeah. but that holy power yeah. mm -hmm. that's in us, well, yeah. but keep us moving oh, yeah. and keep us standing oh, yes. and keep yeah. us continuing to move forward to the kingdom yeah. of God. Yeah. So I don't know, he didn't give me a time. Well. Yeah. What? I'm closing. Anyway. <laughs> Go through years that are not a member of the body of Christ. We pray. Yeah. 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 This right. evening. Yes. Be obedient yeah. to the gospel. Yeah. Well. You have our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Yeah. You have a choice. Yes. You have a choice. Yes. No, no one's going to force you. No. You have a choice. Yes. But I'm begging and pleading yeah. with you. Amen. If you're not a member. Mm -hmm. Because why I'm begging and pleading? Because it's an urgency. Mm -hmm. Today. Yeah. More than ever. Yes. It's an urgency. Yes. For individuals to come out of the world of darkness. Yes. And come into his marvelous Amen. light. Amen. It's an urgency for us to have Jesus as our, yes. our Savior and our Lord. Amen. And you can do that. Amen. Amen. So I urge you to come up back and keep. Yes. Amen. And together we stand and sing. I know Brother yes. David, David's been, David, Brother Lewis has been sitting up on that chair for a long time. <laughs> so just when you're going to sit down. Yeah. <laughs> what did he tell me to do? Preach the word. You follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs>
Junction, Arizona. Know your Bible. Brother Eugene Johnson, minister, evangelist, preacher from the South Side, Church of Christ. Tucson, Arizona. Personal Touch Ministries. Hope you enjoyed the video. So long, everybody. Have you ever been in Atlanta? Yeah. First question.